Big Fat Man Scoop, Brooklyn Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching the Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. He taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you gotta do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there. And I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Batman School, Big Brando, let's go! What's happening, everybody? Boy, Big Brando, and today, let's talk about what design software you should use and what kind of computer you should be using. These are questions that I get all the time, whether it's on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. People wanna know, what design software do I use? What kind of computer they should buy? I've answered this question in older videos, but maybe people don't wanna go back and watch these old videos, so I will make an updated version of it for you right here. To answer the questions of what I use, I use an iMac and I also use a MacBook Pro. The reason I have the MacBook Pro is because I do stuff on the go as well as here in the shop. Now, the reason I use Mac or Apple products is because that's what I've been using for years. Is there anything wrong with using PC? No. Is Mac better than PC? No. It's just what I prefer and it's what I'm comfortable using. You pick whatever you're comfortable using. Now, what computer should you buy? Should you buy an iMac also because that's what I use? No. If you're used to using PC and you're comfortable using a PC, buy a PC. Buy a PC laptop, buy a PC desktop. It doesn't matter. The thing that does matter is I would say RAM. The more RAM, the better. Because when you're running all these different softwares, you want it to be fairly quick and there should be no lag involved. I see a lot of guys getting gaming PCs and using that to run their design software and that's cool. Is it overkill? It might be, but if you do gaming also, then it's probably cool that you do both on that same machine. Some people are on budgets, so they wanna know what's the best budget-friendly computer to get. I don't know your budget, I don't know what you're comfortable with, but what I would look into is RAM. Whatever computer you decide to get, get something with a good amount of RAM. 32 gigs or higher should be doable. I'm not a computer whiz. I don't know everything about computers, but that's just my guess. All the computers I have have 32 gigs of RAM and up. As far as storage, you can always get an external hard drive or solid state drive and keep all your files on there so you don't have to work off of machines memory but it's up to you. So for example, my iMac right here has four terabyte Lacey hard drive connected to it. That's where I store all of my designs. The reason I do that is because I said I work on the go. So if I started working on something here, I throw it on the hard drive, I take it home, it's on my laptop now, and now I'm banging stuff off the MacBook using that drive. And then once I fill that up with designs, I just buy another one. Also, I have a different four terabyte Lacey drive that's just for these YouTube videos because these videos are big files. I don't record in 4K, but they do end up being like four to eight gigs worth of video footage per video, depending how long it is. So having those drives to back up all of the footage that I get helps. So when it comes to computer, buy within your budget, whatever fits your budget. Don't go broke trying to buy a computer. If there is one notable thing to look for, I say RAM. Speed is everything to myself. Now, when it comes to software programs, a lot of people have this weird misconception that it's an app that I use and I tell the app what to do and it spits out the cool design. That is not it. There are no pre-made designs that come with the software that I use. You create all of the designs on your own. Now, there are a lot of people out there that sell pre-made designs for certain programs. Odyssey Rock is a perfect example of this. If you look at the very bottom of the description box, I have Odyssey Rock's link in the description box. He makes mock-ups, he makes pre-made design layouts, he also sells SVGs and other files that you can download and use on your own that he creates with his own bare hands. So if you were looking for pre-made stuff that you could edit, put your own sayings in and your own brand names on, there are design templates in the description box of all of my videos. Just scroll to the very bottom, look for the link at the bottom of the description box. But outside of that, I use Adobe software. I use Photoshop and I use Illustrator. If you were looking into investing in a software, Illustrator would be the best bet for you. You could create vector files, you could redraw anything that you wanted to, and you could have print ready files ready to go 
using that one software. Now the reason I use Adobe is because I also use Adobe Premiere to edit these videos right here. I use Illustrator for t-shirt designs. I also use Photoshop. I use Lightroom and Camera Raw and Adobe Audition also. So the whole creative suite works for myself. Maybe you don't need all that. All you want to do is just create t-shirt designs so you don't have to buy the whole creative cloud or creative suite whatever it's called now but you could just get the illustrator subscription and be good to go there are also other softwares outside of that there's people that use coral draw or corel draw there's people that use affinity inkscape gimp there's all these other softwares out there i know nothing about those i use photoshop and illustrator only that's what i learned on i have no reason to learn a new software just because so i stick with what i know now do you need a mac to use illustrator no illustrator will work on a pc or a mac and once again if you follow odyssey rock on instagram or TikTok or youtube he creates a lot of templates for Photoshop and Illustrator. He also shows a lot of good workflow when it comes to using Photoshop and Illustrator, and he's a wealth of knowledge when it comes to that. I watch his videos also, and I learn tips and tricks. I also use some of his layouts. He created one where he can make all the text look like chrome or look like metal by clicking two buttons. So I use his stuff too. But the cool thing about Photoshop and Illustrator is it is an industry standard in this business. With that being said, there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube for free to learn these softwares. The way I learned was I clicked on every single tool found out what the name was, and then I just started messing with it to see what it did. I would take that same approach and find out what every tool name is, and now I would just go to YouTube and type in Adobe Illustrator Pen Tool, and then you'll have a bunch of videos showing you how to use the pen tool, and go down every single tool and learn it. And it's for free because it's on YouTube. Now let's say that you don't know anything about these softwares, you don't know anything about creating designs, you can always hire a graphic designer. At the very bottom of the description box, I have a bunch of dope graphic designers in there. These are guys that I've either worked with personally or I respect their work and I think they're dope, but they all have different strong skill sets. So if you wanted to hit them up, check them out. I left their Instagram names on there. Reach out to them and see what's happening. Outside of that, you could go to Fiverr and look for graphic designers on there, or you could just go on Instagram and look for some. You could probably talk to people in the comments section because a lot of graphic designers hang out in the comments section. But I hope this information helps you out. The computer that you use doesn't matter. Mac or PC, there's no one that's better than the other. Whatever fits your budget is gonna be the best for you. If you are looking for notable things, I always look for RAM. More RAM, the better. If you have a vinyl cutter, you want to make sure that your vinyl cutter is compatible with Mac or PC, whatever you use. When it comes to software, I use Adobe product. Photoshop, Illustrator, Adobe Audition, Premiere Pro, After Effects. These are the programs that I use. That's why I use Adobe. It is a subscription-based software. So that means you pay monthly for it. If you don't want to pay monthly for it, like I said, there's other softwares out there. Affinity is one of them, Inkscape, Gimp, and there's a few others. I haven't used any of those, so I know nothing about them, but those are options that are out there. Whatever software you choose to use, go to YouTube and find out how to use it. That'll be your best bet. Outside of that, if you didn't even want to get into computers or software or any of that, hire a graphic designer that can do this stuff for you. Hopefully this helps somebody out out there. Hopefully this answers a lot of questions that people have. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. I try to respond to everybody. Sometimes I can't get to everybody, but I try to answer majority of the questions asked daily. All right, follow me on Instagram, BigBrandoTV. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yeah.